Hello, it's me, Brian Cock, with another story in the day. Uh, we were out at Red Cow at night, me and Emma had something to eat, so we decided to go to Bibby's restaurant, which was in there, the, just, just after the nightclubs, it was around the corner from all the nightclubs where I was having been in nightclubs, had something to eat, not, not drunk or anything, just having something to eat. We were having a meal in um, Bibby's restaurant. A couple of lads started wanting to have a fight with me, and I went outside and I thought, I said, he goes, well, I like a fight just before I have a dinner. I thought, well, I like a fight fucking after dinner. He was bullying the fucking rest the manager of the restaurant. Horrible bully. Big, 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 big lad. And uh, travelling kids that were um, from Stockton. I knew them. They knew me, but we don't have had a drink to eat these, which were worky ticket fuckers. So anyway, they were oh, I like a fight. And such, and anyway, we go outside and he's coming and you know, I've had a fight with them. And I've hit one bang straight away and knocked him straight over and I thought he's gone. Didn't, didn't want to get up and his mate come in. So I know that where they stand fucking... 20 feet away from you every time you walk forward like that, the walk back and the walk back. Said, Fucking hell, are you going to stand up? You're going to lock on like a bull. Come on, let's lock on, have a fight. No, he's just, every time I come forward, he kept he kept moving backwards. I went, oh, fucking hell, how far am I going to walk here? Yeah. Next minute, I could do de de so I thought, fuck this. I walked on the bottom to the seafront, top of the road, right down the bottom of the road, I walked. I'm halfway down, you know, the cop cars have got to the bottom and the top of the cunts. So I'm walking to so Emory and all the people over the restaurant, Ginger Allen was there, John Watson. Loads, loads of people in the um, in the street. So I goes to the bottom and there was a gym on the left hand side, which was the Olympia gym. So anyway, this fucking cop he got out and he was in a he was a Pakistani or Indian policeman in a squatty car and he got and he grabbed him and he had fuck off and I threw him and he felt he, 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 he I grabbed him and I threw him and he he went on the bonnet and slid over the bonnet of the car. So anyway, they couldn't get me. I'm like, come on, then, fucking come on! I'm jumping about and trying to box it and fuck, come on, throw punches. The one goes, fuck that, just keep away from keeping me tied out. So I'm stood there, oh, come on, come on, and there's another load more of the fuckers. So the whole bottom of the street, must have been about 20 cops there at least, and they're all standing well away from me, but they've got me in a fucking circle. So I'm like looking around like that, I'm, I'm trapped here. So anyway, fucking this cop come, and he went, look, I'm going to be all fucking night, you're not going to get him in that van yet, you haven't got the fucking ask him. He says, will you come with me, he said to me, he was like a CID cop. He was all right, he was old, old with me. He went, look, so you're going to get loads of jail at the moment. You're only on for pushing him over the car. Criminal damage, really, and, and I sort of pushed him over. So anyway, I got nicked for his right. So I went in the thing, he went. I went to the police station, went in, the nicked his for any criminal damage. I got done for the end, and, and I sort of pushed the copper over the, like, throwing him over the car. So uh, I'm looking at jail for this, because if you hit a cop, you, like before I got caught, I fell downstairs at the two cops. I got six months, three, three months, three cops, just for falling into them. One hit me on the end of the trunk and run down the stairs in Bedsall Row, seven Bedsall Row, where I lived with a little Frankie. I was warned out to be arrested and assault, broke a lad's jaw from uh, Stockton. And uh, anyway, I got done for it, so I thought, oh, fucking hell, I'm going to get good jail for this. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to court. He's a squatty driver, which squatty means they call them gravel knees because they always kneel on the kneeling down the legs in the, in the, in the gravel you know, on the road when they're giving you a ticket and stuff. So that's a nickname, they call them gravel knees. So I never nicked me this this uh, cop. I can't remember his name, but even if I could, I couldn't put it, put it on here because you get in trouble. But what happened? I was at court in the magistrates court of court that day. Let's we, we, say two months, three months later. I go to the court. So I'm in the court and we create beer. Uh, blah 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 blah. And I said, uh, I've just been told about the other cop. The cop's supposed to come, and he's been nicked for rigging cars. It was in the paper. And his fucking court date was only the same day as mine, but he was at the Crown Court. <laughs> so I'm in the magistrates, and they sat there waiting for the cop to, to come come in and have, and give evidence against me because none of the others turned up for him. So there was something, there was something rabbit off for this cop. So anyway, he's in court. He only gets found fucking guilty and found guilty for ringing cars. How the fuck can he come to my court at ten o'clock or wherever it was when he was in the other courtroom or he came up for a trial? So he couldn't come in anyway, he got found guilty later on, I think he got two years for it. So I had Cleveland Police Cop, let me nicked for assault, but never turned up a court. The reason why he couldn't turn up a court, because he was only arrested himself for ringing cars from Bradford and back and forth to Billsford. They were selling cars and engines and stuff like that, and mainly Bradford, and he got found guilty, and he was nicked for it. So another story, it's only me, isn't it, to get these stories. So yeah, another story in the day, to use for us.